Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining me. I have this holiday look going on. I hope you like it. I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm going to list all of the products I used in the description box. I'm really excited about this look because you can use it for the holidays, any party. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you like the video. Definitely follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more videos and we'll see you next time. I'm going to start off by using my LC Cosmetics Pearl Radiance Primer. It feels so good on the skin and it's a great base uh, before we start building on the foundation. And for my foundation I'm wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup in the color Tawny. It has really nice coverage and it looks really natural on my skin. Once I'm done buffing that into my skin with my beauty blender, I'm going to go in with Ouija from ColourPop Cosmetics as a color correcting cream under my eyes and around my lips. Then I'm going to go in with a second layer of foundation for really good coverage. Once I'm done blending my foundation in with a slightly damp beauty blender, I'm going to start applying my concealer which is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 2. And then I use the same beauty blender to blend all of that into the skin. Next is our cream contour step with LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Conceal and for the highlight color I'm using creamy beige and for the contour color I'm using toast. And to set my cream contour, I'm going to use my Ulta Beauty Contour Kit. I'm using the shades Bombshell Bronzer with a little bit of Warmth Bronzer and Golden Bronzer. To set the highlight areas, I'm going to use the Botanics The Power of Plants Lighter Than Air Mineral Loose Powder. I'm dusting off the nose and the jawline areas right away and I'm going to leave the under eye areas. For brows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. Once that's done, I'm going to prime my eyelids with MAC Cosmetics Pro Long Wear in Soft Ochre. And then I get to play with the newest addition to my makeup kit, Suva Beauty Neutral Necessities. It's a gorgeous eyeshadow palette. It's highly pigmented and I just love it because I was born in Suva. So it's so nice to have a beauty product that 
represents the city, Suva, and the country that I was born in, which is Fiji. So here I'm cleaning up the line between my crease color and my lid color with a little more soft ochre from MAC before I go in with the white Prohibition Pub color from the Neutral Necessity Suva Beauty palette. And then I'm filling in the rest of the lid with Shanghai Nights from Neutral Necessity palette. Now for the eyeliner, I'm using Inglot in number 77 with my MAC 266 brush. I'm building the liner up really slowly, step by step, and then I'm going to go into my waterline and fill that in too. And now for the glitter, I'm using non-toxic glitter uh, from Michaels, I believe. I'm using the black shimmery glitter color and I'm sticking it on with Shop Violet Voss's adhesive. And just like with the eyeliner, I'm packing it on really slowly and one segment at a time. I'm not rushing it. Once I'm satisfied with the way that looks, I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara and blush. And later on I do add the false lashes from House of Lashes in Noir Fairy. And then I'm going to add a little bit of glow just for fun. I'm going to start off by using High Beam from Benefit. Uh, it adds a little bit of tackiness and it's a really subtle, creamy, shimmery highlight. And then on top of that I'm going to build with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the colors Bubbly and Dripping in Gold. And last but not least I'm going to do my lips. I'm using NYX Lip Liner in Burgundy and then I'm going to use the Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. The lip brush that I'm using is from OCC Cosmetics. And that's the final look. I really hope you liked it. I love this look. I really wanted to do something with a bold lip and some shimmery eyes. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.